I have you on that fancy stand, so let's see how this thing works here. Let's give it a minute and see um, what's going to happen. I don't know if I like that glare from the sun. She's awake. Let's give it a sec. Some people come on. How do I do this thing? Okay, we're working here. Hi, Brenda. Look, you're on the stand. Watch. I'll show you my cabinet. Look. Woo, you could go all the way around. Hi. Isn't that neat? Let's see. And I can pivot it down. Let's see. So you can see the pots and everything. Yeah, I'm using the tripod. Thank you. Look it. Can I let go? No. Okay, so I have to turn this handle this way. There, look. The tripod works. You can see the meat there, and then I can bring you up this way. It's the first time using it. Give us a give us a minute. And it has the legs, so I can put you on the ground, and it comes up like three feet, I think. It's pretty cool. I'm loving it too. Merry Christmas, everybody. I have to get used to the camera on this side because the tablet was too long, so I have to put it long ways. And I think I can pivot you this way. Here, look. Am I upside down? No, it worked. I'll be damned. Rotate your device. Okay, I got to pop up. All right, we're working with the stand here, okay? Let me turn my meat back on. We're going to get going. We're going to make the zucchini lasagna first, so let's wait until some people come on. I know they want to see the lasagna. And again, it's not written down yet. It's my own recipe, so you're going to have to write it down, and I'll get it down at some point. You know, it is Christmas, so you have to bear with me. Hi, Nikki. Hi, Vinny. Merry Christmas. Hold on. Let me see this stand you all got, how I got to use it. Merry Christmas, Sharon. Can I do it this way? Okay. I'm figuring it out here. All right. So what, what we're doing. I uh, love you too, Vin. We, um, I already got my 80-20 ground beef. You don't have to use beef. You can use turkey. You can, whatever you make with your lasagna. They're covered, Brenda. Um, <clears throat> I did my 80-20 ground beef. And it's one and a half pounds. You can use more, you can use less, depending on the size of your lasagna. Good morning, Wendy. Uh, I have one and a half pounds. I did brown it already in my pan, and I drained the oil out. I put a strainer in a metal coffee can, and I drained all the oil out. So, And then I put it back in my pan. So I just want to heat it up for a second. I'm going to, let's see how we do this stand here. Ready? Can you all see the meat? Does it work good? You can like see the meat. So we're going to warm it up. Now, I like the fire roasted tomatoes. Hi Joy, you're on the tripod. I like the fire roasted tomatoes. I did drain them a little bit. I'm going to put that right in here. And I'm going to use a little bit of canned sauce. And um... I'm going to save the rest of the sauce for tomorrow because I'm going to make flatbread pizza for when people stop by randomly. So, I'm going to save that. And I'm going to spice it up with some seasonings here. And then we're going to assemble our lasagna. And then we're going to roll right into this eggnog. Who knows how it's going to work. But yeah, isn't it neat? Everyone that's joining late, you're on the tr tripod that y'all got me. And watch. You ready? You're going to spin around and see the whole kitchen. Ready? Look. There's a cabinet where I keep my coffee. There's the dining room, there's the sink, and there you are again. Ha! Ah, I love it. It's so cool. Um, Geneva, there is no recipe. It is my own. I will write it down eventually. It is Christmas, so give me a day or two, and I'll put the recipe in the comments. You see her back there? Um, but I will. I'll write it down. You'll get it. So now we're going to pivot you down again. And our meat is warming back up with our can of fire roasted Hunt's tomatoes. And I am going to use a little bit of sauce. I use the Hunt's tomato sauce. I'm going to put some of that in here. And the rest I'm going to use for um, the pizza tomorrow. So there's about a half a cup for those of you that are writing it down. But again, I'm going to put it in the comments eventually. Now we're going to warm all this up. So we have our half a cup of sauce. Use whatever sauce you want. And our can of fire roasted tomatoes and our one and a half pounds of 80-20 ground beef. Again, if you want to use turkey, use turkey. If you want to use a mixture of pork and sausage, do that. Whatever you like. Karma says Merry Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas to all of you. 
So I'm going to put a little bit more, I think. Is that Vinny? Oh, someone called Joey. I didn't know if it was you, Vin. <laughs> All right, so we're going to let this warm up, and I'm going to bring you to the other side of the kitchen real quick and show you the lasagna. So now I do have to take the stand with me. So I'm going to carry the stand to this side. We're going to get our cheese stuff going for the center here. How can I? I don't think that I can have you look at the dish as well as me. He's on the phone, Vin. Give it like 10 minutes. So I had two medium-sized zucchini, and I use this side of my grater. Um, Brett, who is a friend of mine, gave me this really fancy mandolin from France, and I have no idea how to use it. <laughs> and instead of cutting my fingers off on live TV on Christmas Eve, I decided to do the way I normally do. I get the zucchini, and I go right down. And we get strips. Now, a lot of people let these sit in salt and um, let them drain out, or they cook them first before assembly. I don't do that. I leave them raw. They're going to cook in, in the oven when the lasagna bakes. So now it's time to do our cheese, our mixture of cheese. Again, bear with me. We're using the stand here. I want you to see the bowl. Okay. So I'm going to use, I like a lot of ricotta. Some people like to use cottage cheese. You can do that also. But I like ricotta, and I like a lot of it. So I'm probably going to use a cup and a half of ricotta cheese. So there's one. Okay, so there's a cup and a half of our ricotta. Good morning, Annette. Thanks, Kat. I don't have my gut hanging over the counter anymore. Huh? And I'm going to use shredded mozzarella. I always use the low moisture, and it says low moisture on the package. And I'll probably use two cups. I got this cheese yesterday at Walmart with that handy dandy gift card you all gave me. That was friggin' amazing. Let me open this bag. I should have did this before. My bad. So we have one cup of mozzarella already in here. We're going to do another cup. Right in to our ricotta. Now let me grab the Italian seasoning from the other side. I'm going to put probably two tablespoons of that in here. Italian seasoning. We're going to put Italian seasoning in our meat too. Now we're going to mix it up. No egg. I know some people use egg. I don't. Okay. There's your lovely cheese mixture. Good morning, Rona. Merry Christmas. And I'm going to do a little bit of salt and pepper. So there's our ricotta and mozzarella for our lasagna. I'm going to put this on the other side. We're going to pivot back up on this. Wait, i got to turn the thing. See, I'm learning. I'm learning how to use this stand you all bought me. I'm getting there, okay? Wait, that's tight. That's tight. Okay. <laughs> now we're going to come back over here. We're going to season our meat a little bit. Merry Christmas, Tabitha, Dawn, Kathy. There's our meat. Simmering nicely. We're going to season it with uh, one to two tablespoons of Italian seasoning. Okay. Oh, it's snowing, Kath? Not here. It's sunny. It's a little windy, a little chilly. We're supposed to get rain, no snow, but... I almost rather snow over cold rain. That shit sucks. All right, so now our meat mixture is nice here. I'm going to give it a taste with my finger because it's my house and I don't have a spoon. I am going to add a little bit of sweetener. I know a lot of people don't use sweetener in their sauce. I know Christina does not, but I am. This is your choice. You don't have
have to. Where the hell is that spoon? So I'm going to do probably just a tablespoon of Splenda to offset that tartness. Okay. And again, the rest of this can I'm going to use for our flatbread pizza. That's your sister? Oh, hi Shelly. All right, here's our meat mixture. Turn it off. Let's go assemble our lasagna. <laughs> Again, here we go. It is not gravy. Get the hell out of here, Vinny, and your New York gravy. Gravy is brown and it goes on turkey and mashed potatoes, okay? I've spoken. Let me grab our meat. It's really weird using this stand. I'll get there. Let's get this assembly line going. So I have. Oh, you guys, that's so cute. Nope, eggnog is next, Stace. All right, let's angle you down here. Okay, ready? I gotta figure out how not to get my boobs in the video. <laughs> okay, so here's our dish. It's not working. Boobage. Brenda likes it though, so it's okay. Now we have our lasagna, our meat and our ricotta and mozzarella. I'm gonna do a little layer of the meat sauce in our pan first. And again, it doesn't matter how the layers come out. Sometimes I finish with lasagna, I mean the zucchini. Sometimes I finish with meat. I mean, it doesn't matter. So we're gonna spread some of this on here. See, I told you Brenda liked the boobs. Now, I'm not gonna do a lot. I just want some for our base. Okay, now we're going to lay down our zucchini, and again, some people let this sit in salt and dry out. Some people, good morning Teresa and Denise, some people um, pre-cook it, I ain't doing all that. This works fine, I've made it this way lots of times and everyone loved it, so that's the way I do it. I'm going to rip this one. Okay. Now we're going to do another layer of the meat, and then we're going to do our ricotta. Okay, we're going to do a nice layer of the meat here. I know, I should just pick the pan up and dump it in, huh? <laughs> and I'm making a small one, because um, my mom's making real lasagna. I just figured this would help me and my dad. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to pile our cheese. It's ricotta cheese, mozzarella cheese, and Italian seasoning. We're going to spread this on here. Okay. Just flop it on there. It's all going to end up in the same spot anyway. And I think the metal spoon is going to work better. I don't even know who he's talking to. I hear Joey talking back there. Maybe it's Bill. Yeah, it's Bill. So we're going to spread this around. It's looking good. And then we're going to get going with our eggnog. So bear with me, you eggnog watchers. I hope it works. I never made the eggnog before, and I'm really nervous that it's gonna gonna become scrambled eggs. Then I'm gonna send it to Dan with no ketchup. Okay. I like my ricotta, so we're gonna get going here. Hi, Mama Roz. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to Joe. Merry Christmas to everybody. Okay, now we're going to do our next layer of lasagna. What? I keep saying that. Zucchini. Just bear with me. Avery is watching Trolls, so you might hear Justin Timberlake singing in the background. Yeah, Look how cute it is. Okay, now the rest of our meat. We're going to put right on top. You 
all seen that. It's hard for me to look back at this camera up like this. I have to get used to it, so I will. And then I'll go back and read. I haven't been looking. Hi, Frida. My candy. Hey, girl. Merry Christmas, dear. You see him up there? I'm going to spread my meat around here. Again, I made a smaller one. Normally, I use a little more meat. But it's working nicely. I think it looks good. Okay. Everyone have a safe Christmas. Enjoy your families. Okay, now our last layer of ricotta. And then we're going to top it with mozzarella. I hope this is enough. We might have to mix up a little bit more. And then I'm going to cover it because we're going to take it to mommy's and make it there. Yeah, I'm going to need more. Here, let's mix up more. See, this is what I say about winging it. Okay. Some more mozzarella here. See, it's how I eyeball. But when I write this down for you guys later, I'll put it in there, I promise. What, Avery? And then we're going to pop this right on here. Hi, everyone. Have a wonderful Christmas, says Janet. There we go. That worked fine. And I like a, rec a lot of ricotta, so that's why it looks like a lot, okay? There we go. Spread this baby around here. Wow. It's not so small then, huh? Huh? Ah! Spread it, spread it, spread it. Hi, Bill. Merry Christmas. It's coming together. It's coming together, guys. I still have to shower. I still got to do my face. Avery's going to shower with me. You know how that is, showering with a four-year-old. It's kind of like eating Oreos while you brush your teeth. Yeah, it'll work out. So there we go. Now I have a few pieces of zucchini left, so I'm going to top it on top here. And I'm going to sprinkle this baby with mozzarella cheese, and it's ready to go to Mommy's to go in the oven. It'll go in the oven at 350, covered first for probably 45 minutes. Then I'm gonna uncover it to brown this cheese we're gonna put on top. I'm bringing it to Daddy, Stacy. We're gonna have it there because my mom's making um, real lasagna. Loosen this. I got it. Okay, we turn this thing, and then there you guys are again. Look at that. I did it. All right, now we're going to go over here and start this eggnog. I'm a little nervous. I'm a lot nervous for this eggnog. There it is, Mama Ross. Now, the recipe that I found says creamy sugar, low carb eggnog. Creamy sugar free, low carb eggnog. So, I'll put the picture in the comments, and I will type up the, the recipe for lasagna. But we have one cup of heavy cream, one cup of unsweetened almond milk. I never had almond milk. I tasted it. It's okay. I, I don't know. Two eggs, butter, two tablespoons, two tablespoons of sweetener of your choice, vanilla. I'm using sugar-free Tarani vanilla, cinnamon, nutmeg, and brandy, which I don't have. And then it says to drink it warm, and I've always had the eggnog cold, so let's see. We have to put everything in here, including the eggs, the seasoning, and whisk it for five minutes. 
and it's apparently done, but you cannot let it boil. So this is going to be fun. So in my pot, I already have, I'm going to put you back down again, okay? Bacon noodles, oh yeah. So here is our almond milk, two tablespoons of butter, and heavy cream. Now we have to add our two eggs. It says to put everything in this thing, so here we go. Here's one. Oh, I'm getting more nervous. I don't know how I feel about this. Kind of feel like it's a bodybuilder drink or something. Weird. Sweetener it said. Two tablespoons of your choice. So here we go. One, two. Then it says that vanilla. We're using the sugar free Tarani. Why the hell did that happen? Something popped. Uh, cinnamon. Okay, and nutmeg. Alright, so now we have to whisk and don't let it boil for five whole minutes. So I'm gonna, something is on there, I smell it burning. Let me turn you back up so we can look and chat while I whisk this and then we'll look back at it. Hi, Diana. Rosalind, Joy, Rose, Thomas, Joy, Erica, Janet, Stacy. Merry Christmas to everybody. Merry Christmas, Jennifer. Now I want to watch this because it said not, not to let it boil. You know what I think it was? A lavish cracker it was on the stove top and that's what popped and now it's burning. <laughs> So today, after this, Avery and I are going to take a shower, then we're going to go to my grandma's, and then we're going to my mama's. So that should be fun. And I told her, tomorrow morning, you can't come downstairs. If you come downstairs to see if there's gifts, they're going to disappear. You have to get mommy and daddy. So we'll see what happens. All right, we're not boiling yet. 10, 11, okay, we have a few minutes. I don't have any rum or brandy candy, but yes, it says to add brandy. I'm going to see how it is. Hi, Dan. Merry ho-ho. It smells good. I'm really nervous about those eggs, though. Are they going to cook enough? Oh, you love my kitchen, Mama Roz? It reminds me of a Mexican restaurant because it's yellow and red. I walked in and I was like, look, I'm in Chi-Chi's. I did. Damn, Mama Ross says the sun is out on the Cape. The sun's out here too, but it is chilly. Oh, wow, it smells like Christmas. <laughs> really, I can't tell you what else it smells like. I don't have whiskey. We don't do hard liquor, Dan. You want me to put some of that fake beer in it? I don't think that's going to work. All right, 10, 12, we've been at this for two, three minutes. The butter is still not melted yet, and I'm afraid to stop mixing because I don't want scrambled eggs because then I'm shipping it to Dan without ketchup. Joe, mail! Mail? Is today Sunday? It's a new mayor girl, and she has green hair. <laughs> Nope, no rum extract. I'm slacking, guys. Good for you. In the middle of cooking, the mailman came, and I have two more packages from people. This is going to be fun. Christmas Eve, 1013. I'm watching this, guys. I'm watching it. I'm just looking. I'm just looking at it. They are working Sundays. Oh my God. I got to see what that's all about. But let's finish our eggnog here. You want to see what it looks like? 
Let me turn this thing again. Look, I can do this one-handed. Ready? Wait, I gotta turn the thing? Okay. Ta-da! Looks like eggnog, right? And it's not boiling. It said not to let it boil. It smells amazing. It really does. It says five minutes whisking continuously. We're at about four. The mixture will slowly thicken as the eggs gently cook. And it is actually, it looks thicker than before, huh? So we're at 1014. We have about a minute, minute and a half, two minutes to go. Is it bubbling? No, we're still good. Okay. Let me pivot you back up. Look at my beautiful face. Ta-da. Good morning, Leslie. Diane. Woo-woo. Got me live. Merry Christmas. All right, we're going to keep whisking. Then I'm going to see what these packages are about. Apparently, two more things arrived. Uh, you guys, I still have no words. I really don't. I used my Walmart gift card yesterday. got Avery a few more things. I got groceries. I got the almond milk to make this. It was amazing. All right, we're still... It's looking good. I'm excited, and we're going to taste it in one second. 10.15. That was five minutes, guys. What do I do then? It's done? Let's see. Let me grab a spoon. And you can watch me do that, because now I can do this. Waha! down and check it. Thanks, Denise. Oh my God, guys. Holy crap. Oh, we don't want it to boil. Dude, that's eggnog. Like, real eggnog. You don't even taste the the aftertaste of the sweeteners. It's creamy. It's thick. Oh, I'm so glad that we did this. Make this. I'll take a picture of the recipe. And um, I got it from the perfect low carb drink. And I'll put it I'll put it in the comments. If it's really hot, it's done. It is ma'am. It is very hot. And we were at it for five minutes just like the recipe said. But it's getting a little thicker, which I like. So I think I'm going to whisk it one more minute. And then we're going to check out what the hell the mailman just dropped off from somebody on here. Joe! Do you want to taste my eggnog? His hands are in the fish tank. Well, piss on you. All right, guys, it's done. That is so good. Turn it off. I gotta taste it again. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. I don't want hot eggnog. I don't want the nog of egg really hot. Mmm. It's almost like rice pudding. Yeah, that's not bad once it cools. A little thick. Eggnog's supposed to be thick. Your ass is smell. thick. There was a lavish chip on the burner and it burned. No. <laughs> yes, you do taste the vanilla. Yeah, it will continue to cook if left in that boiler. So should I put it in a container or a glass? Is that what you're saying, Stacy? Help me out. It feels like you've done this before. What should I do? I turn the heat off. Should I just put it in a glass or in, in a thing? Merry Christmas, Tracy. I'm waiting to see what Stace says. She says to take it off the heat. It's off. It turned off. Um, I'll put it in a measuring cup. How's that? 
Here, we'll pour it in here so it can cool. Yeah, I want you to see this. I would put it in a container. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Here we go. I'm going to put it in here for now because uh, I don't have anything else available. Look. Oh, and it is so good. I'm so excited. There we go. And I'm going to go put it on the counter. Let it chill. Absolutely amazing. Definitely make that eggnog, really. And I'll put it in the um, comment. I like it cold too. I'll put the recipe in the comments, Deborah. We just made it. It was amazing. In the meantime, I want to see what arrived for me. All right, so let's see. While I was cooking, two packages arrived. This does not have who it's for. It says Sunday delivery to Nicole Foster and it's from Amazon. Let's open it up here. It doesn't say who the gift's from. It just says, Santa told me that this might help you. I have a three-piece silicone mini baking set, which is purple, and baking mats. Oh, there's no name on here. Thank you so much for whoever sent this. Here's the baking mats. That's so cool. And look at my purple set. Look, my favorite color. I got a whisk and tongs and a spatula. That is so cool. Thank you. That is, I wish it said who it was from. Thank you so much, guys. Is it really, Jen? That's from you? Thank you. Oh, you asked me for my favorite color. Thank you. It's awesome. It just came while I was cooking. And then I, there's something else here. Amazon. Let's see what this is. Diane's favorite color is purple. Jen Schroeder. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, cool. Look at it. Is this from you too, Jen? Oh, how cool. I got purple mitts. I got purple mitts. Wait, let's see the notes in here. Basting brush. Oh, cool. Merry Christmas, Nicole. I thought you might need this. I watched you make the lavish chips and use a paper towel. Let's see how this works instead. I love my brushes. Thank you and keep on cooking. I love your recipes. Thank you so much. Because who wouldn't want oven, oven mitts like this? I, mean, I know, it's so cool. And look at my brush. I might make some lavish chips now. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, look how fancy it is. That's got some weight to it. Thank you. Cool beans. Thank you. Thank you. So guys, that was our um, lasagna and that eggnog was, I can't believe how well it came out. Oh, I'm excited. I'm going to put it in the fridge and let it chill and thicken up. So um, Jennifer, thank you again. This was so cool. I love that it came while we were live. I want to see how my mitts fit. I'm not a misfit. I want to see how my mitts fit. so soft inside too. Look at, look at, look at. Woo! Oh. No, Jen. This is perfect enough, but I will let you know. Nope. Thank you so much. That's so cool. Alright, guys. Um, again, you were on this lovely stand. Like, look at everything. Look how nice it is outside. I can spin you around, and then you come right back. It's cool! I love it! Thank you! Um, Merry Christmas. I'd like to see everyone later. Maybe I'll check in. I will type up the zucchini lasagna recipe eventually. Give me some time. It is Christmas, a day or so, but it will be in the comments of this video. Bye -bye. In addition to the eggnog, I will take the picture now and put it here now. So, um, Avery here, say Merry Christmas to everybody. Merry Christmas! <laughs> I love you. They love you too. 
So guys, continue. Stick to it. And if you're not going to stick to it over Christmas, then don't. Have fun with your family. It's, it's not about, oh, I'm going to have a piece of cake and go over my limit. No, have fun. Eat your cake. Eat your ice cream. Drink your liquor. Have a great time. Enjoy your family. And Tuesday is a new day. You can get back on it afterwards, okay? So I love you guys, Jen. Thank you again. That was so cool. I can't wait to use them. And I'll see you later, I promise. Bye.